Okay, this video will tell you how to add reshape filters uh, in the Yuzu. I will be using Yuzu stable, not the RDSS. Uh, this directory uh, basically is self generated when I installed Luigi Mansion 3 via Fit Girl release. Okay, so when you are, they provide the repack games with the emulators as well as the uh, NSP file that is the format of the Nintendo Switch file. So currently I do not have the Luigi Mansion 3, uh, but I have three of the games, okay. So the filters were across all or any of the game you might add in the future. Now the, you must realize that I am using AMD along with RTX 3060. So I am using Vulkan, okay, not the OpenGL, it's the Vulkan. It's very important to tell the reshade which API you are using. So I'm going to install this reshade along with this filter such that user can assess and in-game optimization will occur using those filters, okay. So the reshade executable can be easily downloaded by simple Google search. I will be using this executable. So I'm copying this uh, executable file location and I will direct this file location to reshade it will ask me which uh, apis to use i like i told you i will be using vulcan for instance if your emulator like citrus that uses opengl or even if you are using yuzu uh, with opengl api you have to select the third option not the fourth option okay so next uh, i have already installed that's why it is asking whether it, i want to modify the installation or not so just uh, give it a try so now it's asking whether I want to download uh, any stuff. This basically are third party filters which I don't need. So I am going to uncheck any of them and uh, skip it okay, and finish the installation. Uh, why I skip the downloading of the filters because I already have the filters that are particularly for my GPU that is the Nvidia uh, GPU. So I have already extracted this folder into this folder. Uh, basically, it has uh, uh, folders, textures, and shaders. The textures are simply PNG files, and uh, the shaders are FX files. This is the most important one. Okay. Now, uh, the reshade has installed some applications like these files, and we have the filters as well in this location, shaders and textures. Okay? So we are going to uh, launch the uh, Yuzu. Okay. Now you will not be able to modify the uh, reshade settings uh, without launching the game first. So the first thing we are going to do, we are going to uh, launch a game. Okay, let's uh, launch a uh, So what we have here is basically that reshade works uh, throughout the executable. Now that executable you can use to launch any game. Okay. So press home button. That is the uh, default uh, reshade stuff. Now, if you go to the settings, uh, here I ha we have to provide it the uh, location of the shaders, and here we have to provide it the location of the textures. So, initially, you have to uh, minus, I mean, remove the applications, and you have to add the application. And here is the folder, here is the shader, select texture location shaders and texture location okay select now why after setting this i recommend that you use this uh, effect toggle so that you can see that which effect is causing what difference in the uh, graphic ability of the game so uh, select it to the end uh, button okay uh, this you don't need uh, you can google what does this mean but it's a video that just uh, uh, makes you enable to start using reshade without going, going into the comprehensive nature of this application. Uh, you can also select the uh, screenshot, screenshot button, as well as the screenshot uh, uh, format, location of the screenshot. It is also important that it also shows the frame rate, okay? Uh, frame rate of a given uh, uh, game because uh, reshading a given game reduces the frame rates, okay? So you have to check it as well that whether is given uh, reshade preferences is highly damaging my frame rates or not. This is the font. 
okay so you see uh, this is the frame rates and uh, we are going to go to the home button now when you uh, reload it and uh, the all of the filters that are available here in this location will automatically be uploaded okay and will be shown on this panel i am using these filters okay so if you disable them like this you can see the difference huh? and because we have set the uh, toggle key as the end key you can disable whole of the uh, shaders by a single key so i am going to press the end key and it will disable all of the filters okay and you can see that you have to repress the end button to enable the filters okay so this is the way there are many filters many many filters many many settings so uh, you can try it okay so hopefully this beginner thing has saved you some of the poking around okay